everybody it's Roya I am back for another video as you all can see by the title today's video we're going to be discussing my top five favorite black owned brands I'm going to share with you guys items that I use on a very 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 regular basis if I'm not using one of these products every day I'm using them on a weekly basis or monthly um, these are products that stand out in my uh, frontal lobe as I always like to say these are products that are tried and true for me there are other black owned brands that I use as well and they're some of my favorites as well but these are ones that stand out and are true true stars and I feel like I wanted to highlight them because I think they're products that people really need to know about so I will be sure to make sure that I link each and every product down below for you guys as well but I wanted to highlight these because these are the creme de la creme in my personal opinion as far as my life and my lifestyle um, and the products that are here now um, forgive me for the background I just finished filming my um, oh like a snippet of my Valentine's Day Dior unboxing for you guys and so when I was about to like take everything down I looked and I was like I have everything I was about to talk about in the sit down video except for the candle. So I was like, let me just go grab the can uh, candle while I got the set up and film for you guys. So I apologize that we're in the bathroom, but nevertheless, we're here and we're going to discuss it. So as I always say, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to jump into the first item. So first up is Harlem Candle Company. Now, this is the scent after dark. Um, this is their... 11 ounce two wick candle yeah it's an 11 ounce two wick candle y'all this is a very beautiful brand in general if you want to uh partake in a product but get a history lesson harlem candle company is the brand for you i love everything about them i've been purchasing from them now for about two years they have come out with a multitude of other things you've got reed diffusers matches they have perfumes um, in both the full size and the travel size they have journals on their website like harlem candle company is everything i think they should come out with incense but that's just my personal opinion um but the background with them is that everything is during the harlem renaissance era the inside of the boxes have like travel maps um, of areas in harlem um and they highlight people during that era so you've got your billy candle which i do own langston um savoy speak easy which i do own as well these are just beautifully scented luxury candles um out of all the candle brands that i love harlem candle company is the one that i own the most of so i will say that this is my favorite i burn one of the candles that i have i think i have five candles in my collection at this point I burn at least one of those scents twice a week I'm always burning a Harlem Candle Co candle please if you do nothing else try this candle brand we are spending our money on Joe Malone spending our money on Diptyque spending our money on Veluspa because I love Veluspa but when I tell you that Harlem Candle Company is where it's at get one and report back sis that's all i'm gonna say next up we're gonna discuss some beauty so this is a new to me brand but i am wearing the complexion products today and that is amicole y'all i have been using this now i may give it like two weeks and when I tell you this is the best complexion product I've ever tried color wise and this is a skin enhancing tint um, I have mine in the shade 2 and then I also have their um, concealer in the shade deep 2 when I tell you this is the best color match for me on a like skin tint or a like um, light coverage foundation that I've ever tried in my life so so good not only are the complexion products really good but the lip products are really good as well as you can see I have blown through this um this is their tinted lip oil or their lip oil treatment and I have the shade this is in the shade excellence I recently purchased the shade smitten that's how much I like these these products to me are the quintessential creme de la creme if you want a bait not not basic in that way but a basic everyday look as a woman of color 
you don't want to do much you just want to be able to put your complexion products on a little mascara maybe do a brow and a light lip and move on these are it. I would repurchase these over and over again. I've already determined and decided that. And y'all know I'm a Dior girl. I love my Dior beauty products. However, complexion wise, Dior is not hitting when it comes to the co complexion compared to these. Now I like their complexion products, but they're not hitting like these. So Amicole is really standing out in the forefront for me. Again, I will make sure they're linked below, but these are some awesome awesome complexion products beauty products if you are a woman of color and you're looking for something that you can wear day to day sticking with beauty let's talk a little bit let's deviate from the beauty the makeup really quick and go to hair i have been using design essentials natural line for ages oh my gosh i've been natural now for oh my god like maybe six or seven years now. That's how long I've been using um, their products. So I transitioned my hair with Talia Wajid and Shea Moisture. And then once I became a straight natural and all, you know, all the relaxer was out of my hair and then I decided that I wasn't gonna wear it in a curly state all the time, um, I picked up the Design Essentials Lavender and Agave uh, products based on my, uh, my stylist recommendation and I've been hooked since. Um, I have tried the, there's one that's like green and that one's good too, but I always end up coming back to this one because the result is just amazing with these. I have the entire line. So this is the shampoo. As you guys can see, I'm almost out of my conditioner, um, but I also have the blow dry spray and the styling, serum and the thermal protectant stuff as well so love design essentials if you're a natural hair girl whether you wear your hair curly or in a straight state you know and put heat on it design essentials has a line for you and their products are amazing honorable mention so is talia wajid she was very very quintessential in my transition process from relaxed to natural i used her products Oh my gosh, all, every line, the natural aloe, the, uh, there's one that comes in like a orangey type bottle, my favorite. So those are good as well. But right now the design essentials is in the forefront for me because I wear my hair straight all of the time and it gives me the best like blowout silk press results. And then last, as far as like beauty, I have to talk about the Pat McGrath lipsticks. Now, I'm not a big lipstick girly. I wear lipstick typically when we're doing like date nights or I'm doing something that's a little more, you know, zhuzhed up or whatever. But when I do want to wear a lipstick, I love Pat McGrath's lipsticks, y'all. They are bold, they're pigmented, and there's something about the, the depth in the tones that is very um woman of color friendly and i'm not just speaking for you know african-american girls or african girls i'm speaking to maybe indian girls um asian girls the the depth in these lipsticks works for all of us women of color um i have three of her shades i've got the lux trace i think these are all the lux trace line um one of them is matte though um, and they're just really rich and beautiful and pigmented. This shade here is Exotica. This is such a pretty like brown shade. Um, a lot of the tones that I have with her are very like fall winter friendly because that's when I love wearing lipsticks. Um, this is a very pretty brown shade. This is like a very matte brown, so love. So Pat McGrath makes really, really beautiful lipsticks. She has great complexion products as well. Um, Pat McGrath was one of the first that I tried um, as far as uh, black owned beauty brands that was on 
what does Bethany Frankel say on the level on the level it is definitely luxury all of her products she has, makes great uh, lip glosses um, I heard the foundation is great I've never tried it um, but I have tried her lip glosses I have tried the lipsticks I've tried her lip liners and I love those as well she has a lip balm that's really nice um, and the packaging is really cute for like keeping in your purse Pat McGrath is that girl. She is on the level. So if you are a woman of color and you are looking for a nice, beautiful, bold lipstick that really fits your complexion, like undertone and all, Pat McGrath is your girl. And then last but not least, y'all, y'all know we're not talking black owned brands if we are not talking about body by TPA. Shout out to my girl Taraji P. Henson. I love these products, y'all. And at this point, I've been using TPH for well over a year. It's probably going on two years. Um, and I love everything about it. So y'all know the star of the show has always been the exfoliating body, body polish with lactic acid for me. It's called Baby Buffed. It's in the vanilla tuberose scent. Y'all, this is literally everything it's the best exfoliate i've ever tried in shower it comes in a tube it's thick it's good stuff and it smells and if you know you know it smells like a, a beautiful luxurious black woman and that's all i'm gonna say smell it and you'll know what i'm you'll you'll be like report back use some of it and report back um, another star of the show in her line for me is the ish condition this is a moisturizing in shower skin conditioner in the uh, mandarin and ginger scent I just recently went and purchased three of these as you can see I'm almost finished with this one this stays in my shower especially during these winter months y'all this is the best in shower conditioner now I've never tried any other in shower conditioner, but this one works for me. I love it. After you've done like exfoliated your body, washed it really, really well with like a in shower um, gel or I'm sorry, oil like the L'Occitane or the Naturium. Slather this all over your body and sit in the shower and let the steam just penetrate for maybe like two minutes. When, when you get out, you really will not need lotion. And I'm not one of those people that do it because I still don't do it. But my body feels like it does not need lotion. Now, I don't go and not put it on because that ain't me. But my body does not feel like it needs it. So I love that about this. Another thing that I love is the uh, Anything Glows. It's a luxe but lightweight body oil with squalene or squalane. I don't know how to you know properly pronounce that one. Um, but it has vanilla and tuberose as the scent. Y'all, this is so good. This is a luxurious treat. Your man will be all over you. This is such an amazing scent. I love this scent. Two other favorites, because when I when it comes to the Body by TPH line, I just gotta tell y'all all of it. There, I think I have the body washes still in there too, but I just grabbed what was like quickly around me. But the Watch Me Whip um, whipped body cream with niacinamide in the vanilla and tuberose scent is also a really, really good product. I love this. Um, again, your man will be all over you when after you use this in the shower. In the shower. After you get out of the shower and use this, this is as you can see, I dug all in it. This is a newer one for me as well. Um, I've gone through probably four or five of these at this point. Really love it. And then another thing that I've been loving, and you cannot see it, but I'm almost out of this. Well. I've used quite a bit of it. I'll put it that way. I feel like I'm almost out because I can't live without this. And it's the Seductive Fragrance Mist in Indulge Me in the Vanilla and Tuberose scent. Now, I have one or two other ones in here too. The uh, You Better Glow. And this one's in the Mandarin and Ginger scent. But there is something about this Vanilla and Tuberose that smells like a luxurious bossed up black woman and men love this when i wear this i put it on at night clarence loves this he loves this and when i like wash in this and then get out and use this and this oil girl i'm just saying 
y'all gotta feel what I'm saying. This is perfection. So out of everything, the candle and the TPH, y'all gotta do. Harlem Candle Company and Body by TPH, anything. You can get the body wash, the body creams, the in-shower conditioner, the body oil. Just try something from the line and report back to me how y'all feel. All right, you guys, those are my top five favorite Black-owned brands at the current time. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, y'all know what to do. Leave it in the comments below. You know you can DM me on Instagram. I always respond back to you guys. And as always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. I'll see y'all on my next one.